What's up, my dudes and dudettes? Today I'm back to... You'd guessed it. This once again. And let's see where I, where it happened while I was gone. Okay, uh, let's... I left off on 80, right? Yeah. No, I think I left off on 79. Okay, let's put on that so I can focus a little more. Anyways, I can use this again. What I had, unfortunately, this has a really long cooldown of eight hours. It's a very long cooldown, but it's worth it because it does this to your DPS. Because I, I said this before, and uh, it keeps increasing your DPS by. It keeps multiplying it by one point five. Looks like we got a whole bunch of, well, probably just two heroes today that I can get, and then probably a third one right after. The funny thing is, uh, <laughs> these heroes are both goddesses, one of different things, like, the first one is war and the other one is love. Now the funny thing is, I want to get both of them at the same time, so like this. So the combined DPS is wrecking this dude, oh my god. <laughs> This hero alone does the most DPS. I can only level the up this one up to twin. Oh yeah, I can buy a couple of upgrades for it. Beast Lord. I gotta really be careful here. Cause it get the upgrades again expelled oh, that super clicks. So there are new monsters in this zone called the Astral Rift. That one right there is the the only new one. Prime slimes and uh, prime and ice slimes are the new ones, as well as box monsters. This is the astral whiff and uh, <laughs> oh, they're dying so fast. I think I could go for the original goal I was intending to today was a hundred, but they're just dying instantly. Wow. This is really noticeable DPS. I was only gone for like a little bit and they're already making good progress. See how fast we do 85. 85 is a giant uh, mage room boss. It's a big sage room, yeah. Even he can't handle me. That's crazy. I'm just ridiculously powerful at this point. Now these guys can really... Uh, I mean, they're trying to stop me with being more tanky, but that's not gonna work. Oh, hey. I want to save up the mud. For, there's another one I can hire quick right away, which is this one. That's a big number, but that's Quintillion, by the way. We're in the big numbers now, yeah. I have to figure it out what the number is. That's how bad this is gonna get. So, what I mean by that is like how big numbers are gonna be and all that. We could get a new ability called Super Clicks. Guess what level I have to unlock this at? A hundred. It's only halfway to a hundred. Yeah. That's good, son. <laughs> and there's another hero we can unlock that will skyrocket our DPS by a crap ton. Yeah, this will literally skyrocket our DPS to nearly like 10,000 quintillion. I mean, no, quadrillion. I'm getting quintillion money now, so that's pretty impressive. I think I could still. I think there's a new type of monster in this uh, area. Or. Now we're in the Bloodlands. Already. That's pretty crazy. See those mud monsters? He used to be a boss before. Now he's an. See what I told you? He's now an occurring enemy. Reoccurring enemy in these zones. Yeah, this is the little box monster again. Oh my gosh. I'm still wrecking everything. Normally I shouldn't be able to beat this guy right away. This is a big, this is a fat floatsy. 
we have this is the boss of 95 but all right because it's a bigger ver it's a bigger version of the regular enemies yeah that money's starting to rack up really fast by the way I don't well by the way I have a new ability that I can I can use now I can mention it to you since I unlocked it. This is called Super Clicks, which does 200% double click damage. And it even increases your critical clicks by 200%. Yeah. That is quadruple the DPS, by the way. 100% is just double, but 200% is a big deal. Because you can just... We can unlock... Two more, both of these heroes give us the last two upgrades that we need. The uh, abilities that we need to get. Seriously, they're kind of useful. If you, they're actually quite useful if you don't realize it. Super clicks is also very helpful to get through hard bosses. Oh, I got a hero soul from leveling up in heroes enough times. You you get you also can get hero souls from leveling up heroes and. Leveling up heroes like at least 2,000 times. So you have to, every 2k levels, you get a hero soul. Yeah, sorry, because I forgot to mention that to you. It's, oh, that's oh, alright, man. It's time to forget to mention stuff. I know, I sometimes do that. That where I forget to mention something. This is an ice slime. It's this, this. It's a Cyclops slime, yeah. The Prime one is a multi-eyed version of that, basically. Hopefully you get, hopefully you guys get to see what I'm trying to mention to you. Oh. Holy cow, that's already expensive. I can't get any more upgrades. It's too expensive. I'm gonna be here forever. For bro, like... Well, guys, we're already at level 100, so this is pretty crazy. I think I should probably bump it up to 120 today. Maybe even 140, I don't know. However fast this goes, I'm going to probably bump it up to, like, a different level goal today. Instead of, like, my 20s, I think I should go by 40 this time. Guys, we're already going through the first 20 really fast, so... I already beat the rest of them. This is just ridiculously slow at this point. Once we get to, I don't want to say anything, but I think the next boss is going to be a little different than this one. Things start to change once you get to level 100. Now, how does this work? Well, by the way, we're getting close to getting another hero, if you didn't know. There's another one right here we can get for 14... Thousand quintillion. Yeah, that's why I'm saving up money because that's all I could. I mean, I can level up at this guy, but I will skyrocket his DPS more if I do that. But I've had to do that when I'm ready to ascend. I'm just gonna keep him at level 15 mm -hmm. until I'm ready to ascend. Which is the game's way of saying, "Hey, you want to reset?" We'll let you reset. Yep. Thank you, Mr. Clickable. Now I can... And the next one... Oh, wow. This guy's gonna skyrocket my DPS by a crap ton. But he's really... Ex but he's super expensive. Oh, my God. Wow. Already. Yeah. I'm not gonna be able to get him for a while. That's gonna suck. Well, at least we're... Killing them sort of quickly again, that's good. I mean, death in general isn't really good, but if there are enemies of you, yeah. This is the boss of level 100. It's a freaking. It's a hamster slash cat? I don't know. It's. I guess maybe it's basically the hybrid of a hamster and a cat. I don't know. What it's supposed to be, but. I need to use super clicks. I can't beat this boss without it. Okay, that's the perfect guy I want to use the ability on.
Ok. Let's freaking go, boy. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh that su super clips are really powerful. Especially when you, you combine them with power surge. Oh my god. It don't, it like. Yeah. Wow. Well, I guess I could show you guys the uh, later levels right now, I guess. We already went through a hundred. We already went through twenty levels. Yeah, I'm gonna have to change the gold today because I did not expect us to get all the way to twenty levels that fast. I'm gonna make it a hundred twenty today instead because we're going and every and now after level hundred. Oh yeah, we got ourselves a guild thing. And then we happened to, it happened to land on Tree Beast. Wow. Ah, we got terrible luck there. Wow, that's just... That's fun. Yeah, yeah, that's that, that's not fun at all. Yay, we get to the upgrade the... This guy, this is... This is hero's... Um, DPS. And that made a noticeable difference. Somehow. And somehow that became a big difference. The downside to this ability is it has a one hour cooldown. Oh my god. This is the first one hour cooldown ability that we unlocked. Well, technically Golden Clicks was the first one. I know that, but it just gives you gold. It's not like an actual... I mean, it does show a difference in the amount of money you've seen. I mean, you could just start from farming the money like crazy, but... Yeah, no. We just level up her we can just level up the other hero to 75. The goddess hero to 75. We can just do that. And move on with it, you know? That's how it goes. Every time we level up heroes, it starts to get faster and faster every time. So yeah. The reason why I'm I'm trying to help out the DPS with using clicks. Hey, by the way, what do you do with these hero souls once you have them? Spend it on the ancients, of course. And my favorite one, my personal favorite one is the Juggernaut. Because he could just do this. The DPS is skyrocketing. Yeah. I have an idea what to do with that, but you know. If you spam click over and over, if you... I have enough gems to ruby. You can get rubies from the clickables, and if you have enough of them, like a hundred, let's say that, you can get yourself an auto clicker, or the more suggested thing to do at half of that, which is 50 rubies. <coughs> Sorry, guys, I had to sneeze. The thing you have, the thing you can also get at 50 rubies is a two times damage multiplier, which now we can view the shop since we got through level 100. You see, the smart thing to do is save up the rupees for this, and then save up 100 rupees for this. So in total, I want to get 150 rupees so I can buy both of those at the same time. Now you might be asking, now you might be asking me, why would you want to buy an auto clicker? See how tiring it gets to do, see I eventually stop clicking because it tires me out. Because, how would it not tire me out, I'm not a bot. See, see, bots get, don't get tired out, but since I'm a real person, since I'm a real homo, since I'm a homo sapien and not a robot, I will get tired out after, at a certain point. See, I can't keep doing it forever. Yeah, finally, we can upgrade this. How much does it actually cost? Okay, that's really cheap. We can get that good. Okay, that's ridiculously cheap. And we're already, we're making more, we're getting so close to the, wow, hey, that's so fast. Okay, there we go. Yeah. I'm just praying that, I think these uh, first set of bosses are guaranteed to be primal up until like 130. It's only 130, I guess. So yeah. All the way up until 130 is when the guaranteed primal bosses end. Is 130, probably. I guess we're back at the forest again, but this time everything has a lot more health than 
the first time we're at them. This forest place looks a little different than the last one. It's quite weird how we... I'm not making... I mean, I am making big bucks, I'm just not fast enough. I'm making quite good money, but I'm not f doing it fast enough. Oh no, I guess it's no longer guaranteed for it to be a pri- I mean... You saw I love you, you already saw at level 100 that it was a primal boss. Yeah, guarantee. The the I guess no, every 10 boss, every bot every 10 levels. Well, not every 10 levels. So just these first 10, 3 10, 3 every, just these first 10 just, uh, 10 20 30 levels would probably be have guaranteed chance to have primal bosses. The levels like 5 Every five ones will also have a somewhat of a chance to spawn as one, but that's not guaranteed. I am not going to make any money from that. I can't. I can't go beyond the boss. Even if the game is not going to make progress for me because the boss has too much health. This is way too tanky for the game to make progress for me. So guess what we're going to do? Let's make some bun off these enemies instead. Now this was a waste way to move. Oh my god, we're making so much money. Ho oh, oh. ho! Oh my god, was that a treasure chest? No, no, okay. No. Okay, the f those wood guys are f juking me out. I don't think I've mentioned this before, but you've seen these enemies. So that's, that's miniature version of Bigfoot. Miniature Bigfoot one. What was that flower one? Mushroom bloop. Yeah, I don't think I mentioned that. The, I was at the forest way at the beginning of the game. Alright, come on. Give me something. I mean, show me ones that I haven't mentioned yet. Pinky? Okay, I mentioned him before. Gloop? Don't think I mentioned that one. Corpule. Loggernut. Yes, this guy does, did exist in the regular forest one that was way at the beginning of the game. I just forgot to mention him. Angry Potato. Yeah. By the way, that's the by the way, that's the boss in this level. It's a big angry potato, yeah. It's a big version of the angry potatoes. It's a boss version of the angry potatoes you encounter in these normal enemy levels. Yes, these monsters are not our friends, they're our enemies. Wait. But crispy fur. Aren't these monsters friendly because they're not technically not attacking you? Aren't these monsters technically friendly because they're not fighting back? Oh, yes and no. They may be friendly because they're not fighting you back, but at the same time, you're kind of fighting them, so that's not really a friendly encounter. That's facts, yo. Anyways. Oh, I hear... By the way, this is... By the way, it wouldn't be worth it to... Level up this hero, I mean, it would help the DPS, but we all know that the DPS could skyrocket quickly if I level this hero up instead. Because getting the upgrades from this hero, and then on top of that, leveling up the hero, it's, well, I'm not that far from leveling her up to this one is a she as well, as it says it in the description if you read it there if you read her description it says this hero is a she and you already know that these ones are female because it's, it says goddess not god by the way they're not gods they're goddesses as you can see in the title sometimes it's hard to tell a hero's gender but if you read the description it'll make it more obvious you can tell this hero is male instantly because 
because these are boy colors, by the way. <laughs> I guess love could hurt, technically. Well, technically, love can't hurt, but I don't think it would be like that. No, 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 no. I don't think it would hurt like that. Hmm. I just want to see what the agents are now. I think others have recommend getting this one right after the Juggernaut one. Because it says here you gain more gold from the monsters when you're idle for no clicks for 60 seconds. Or if you unlock Juggernaut, then you're just, you know... It kind of goes... It kind of... Bud's heads with the Juggernaut Ancient. Because that one you... <clears throat> you keep... You keep gaining more click damage every second. At some point, if you hear, when you level up the, that Ancient enough times, you will start to notice that the click damage will keep skyrocketing like crazy at a certain point. The more you level up the Ancient, the better his value uh, will be. The more important the Ancient will be, the more you level him up. Level him up at least like up to like 10. That would be... Like, but if you level him up all the way to 100... I think all the Ancients are different genders as well. This one looks like a male ancient, so yeah. Yeah, that one looks like it's a male ancient, so yeah. I don't know the genders of the ancients, but I know that this one definitely is not female. It's male. It's a male ancient, so I think that it's pretty obvious. Anyways, so. Far, far out there, that spit flower. like the tallest mo monster encountered by far. Oh, get, oh I, got Rub I got Ruby, lucky me. I keep saying Ruby, it's Ruby. It's what the game tells me. It tells me it's, it's a Ruby. I keep saying it, what I do. I don't know, I don't like it when I do that. Let's see if I can defeat the boss now. Yeah, it's just enough, okay good. Okay good, it's just enough now. Come on. I'm noticing that the DPS is also changing every second as well. Oh, every something seconds now because it's a bigger number value. I don't think I would normally be taking down the monsters as fast right now, but... Uh, my goal today is to probably get to 100 and... Maybe 130, if... Once we get, I know we will definitely go all the way to like 140 or something. I don't know how far we can go today, but today will be a massive b jump in levels. I can guarantee you guys that. Maybe 150. Let's just go with that because this will be a. I know it might be a long video, but hey, I just did a long one recently, so a while ago, a little bit ago, so make it up to you guys today by just doing another one. Yeah. Another one. And I know who, who will come up after Grant here. He's the next hero. I'm not that far off from getting it now, so I think I can just level up this one to 25 levels. There we go. Oh, okay, that's a noticeable difference. Yep, that was worth it. Totally worth it because that was a powerful hero, and we just yeah, that was that was a much better idea. Yo, I'm actually got kind of big brain. His big brain time. How about? Oh, I have to buy those one at a time because they're so expensive. That would just make your DPS better. All right. 
Okay, I'm noticing we're making money a little quicker now. That's great. It's always a benefit. Always a plus. Let's see. We're getting close to boss 110. So, once we get to that, you will see that it's another prime mobile boss. Oh, okay. Oh, of course, as soon as I traverse to the next level, I get a treasure chest right after I beat 108. Ah, uh, I didn't even know he was going to spawn. I should have stayed there and got the treasure chest. Oh, well. You win some, you lose some. Not like I heard that before, but... Nah. Come on. Wait, why is it not going to keep clicking like that? I don't know. Alright, yeah, you guys already know at this point who all the monsters are, so... Terrench, yeah, I think I forgot to mention this one, but that, that's about it. Well, the next boss is a primal version of the Mama Fernie Fat Bat. And holy crap, this boss has a lot of health. Okay, I cannot do- I need the power-ups. Yeah, I need the assistance of the power-ups to beat this. I'm not going to be able to do this on my own. Oh my gosh. This is helpful. This is just enough to beat the boss. Okay, good. And I got another hero soul. Let's see which gilded... Okay, it's one of the later ones. Alright. Oh, it's the Ice Apprentice I got gilded. Ha, that shit looks more epic. Okay. Ha, that looks like an actual tree beast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, come on, baby. All right, here we go. This engine might be a little more peed than I thought. I'm rapidly getting click damage every second. This is just insane. I don't have to level up heroes as much. Oh, look how, oh, by the way, I just noticed that we're getting closer to hiring Grant the, the next, as the next, okay, the next hero. Yeah, next one after that is this guy, Frostleaf. I can't even get him right now, but because he's in even a more extreme price difference. Yeah, that's nothing compared to the price difference between him and the next one after him. That is even worse. This next hero I might not be able to get at all today, so. The hero after this one I might not be able to get it at all today, so. Hire him at all today, so yeah. Yet he might be way, way too expensive for me to get at the time, so. If I were to keep going without ascending, yeah. It would take me a really heck of a long time to get there and that's, that's this is the point now where the hero is starting to get way too ridiculously expensive told you it's gonna quickly happen and now we're at that point where every single freaking hero freaking hero is really expensive now and even getting their upgrades is not as easy anymore it is so tediously boring at, at a certain point. I know how it gets boring at a certain point. I understand that. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot to mention to you guys. After you get this, there's another up upgrade you can get for her, which is known as Kiss of Death. Like, okay. This upgrade also just increases the DPS by only 100%. I wish it was 150, but okay, well, Oh my god, that's way too expensive. Nope. Well, I can upgrade this hero by a little more. And guess what? This is an 
another ability we unlocked called Energize. This doubles the effect of the next skill you use. So for example, I'm saving this for super clicks because oh my god, this will do it go from quadruple the damage to eighth triple the damage. Because that's it basically four hundred percent more click damage. That is massive massive big boy damage. And I like some big boy damage there. And I like to see myself emit massive big boy damage. Now I can't use the ability yet because I don't have any abilities to use it on. I can't demonstrate this because I don't have any these off cooldown yet. But that's where the next ability comes into play. Oh, sorry guys, I forgot to. I did not want to you see that too soon, but hey. That was kind of my fault, don't worry. Me for that. Like, just give it a little sneak peek of what the next ability is, but. I did not just see it fast enough, so. Yeah. I'm just gonna give you a sneak peek because we are gonna. I am gonna be able to get to that soon. So, oh, wait a minute. I think I should upgrade this one a little. I think I should upgrade the DPS of this hero a little more. It also would be worth to upgrade Grant as well because we're just getting into this hero, so we just unlocked him, so now we can deal massive DPS now thanks to him. Thanks to his assistance, now we got massive DPS. And our click damage also increased substantially, thanks to him. So now can all my critical clicks will obliterate these monsters like crazy. I was hoping that'd be a little more beneficial, but okay, I guess that's. Yo, okay, that's a lot more money than I thought. Okay. I'm literally upgrading the crap out of the hero, this hero's DPS. This only increases all hero DPS by 10%. Are you serious? That's a that's really weak. That's a weak upgrade. I wanted. I was hoping it'd be a little more powerful. Oh well. You win some, you lose some, my guy. That's much better. And here it is, the final ability, and this one is really useful, because what it does is it reduces the cooldown of the skill used by one hour. Basically any ability that's not eight hours, I can instantly use again. And the downside is it only affects the last one you, the previous one you used. The very last one you used, that's the one that will get reloaded. So you better pick wisely which abilities you're using because because you gotta make quick decisions when it comes to doing this. The actual ability costs only this much, but... Oh good, a treasure chest! I needed you in my life. Haha! <laughs> oh, it's just a little minuscule difference. Dang it. I was hoping it would be a little better, but at least it's helping, I guess. <clears throat> it's helping a little bit, but not, not, not it didn't change it. It only changed a little bit. Oh, we're beating the crap out of this boss, alright? Yeah! I'll need power-ups. Okay, maybe I might need one, but... If I get lucky, meaning I now have a good 9% chance to get critical clicks, so it should be more likely now, every time. Yep! Oh, we're getting so lucky, that's good. Yes! Oh, we're, go oh, we're, we're living the dream. Yep, we're living the dream. Alright, here we go. Wow, the boss is giving me a lot of money. Jesus. But soon these uh, enemies are going to give me more money than the boss. Oh my gosh. 
I'm so close to getting the final ability, which is reload. This is the most OP ability out of them all. Because it this is the best ability of the ball to be. To me, this is the best ability. You know, you can say that Super Clicks or Power Surge is the best. And I can agree on that, but that they are quite useful, but Reload is like if you desperately need to use an ability again, Reload's got you back. You unlock it from this hero, by the way, if you want to know what you you get from, you get from the wind daddy hero. You get from this uh, wind hero here. You have to upgrade her all the way to like a hundred. So then you level her up to a hundred, so then you can get her little ability. Reload. Oh, I got energized from this hero right here. So. You get super clicks from Beast Lord. This from Abad Abaddon. This from Midas. Basically, certain heroes give you certain abilities, like. Well, since the one that gives Click Storm, the Brawler gives you that. Assassin one gets you this. Mage Dude gives you. Some Fire Mage guy gives you this. Midas gives you this one. Abaddon gets you this one. Beast Lord gives you this one. This goddess of the two gives you energize. And then the, and then this wind whoever gets you reload. Which is the last one I'm getting trying I'm wanting to get. Last ability I want to unlock today. So Energize is not the only ability I'm gonna be unlocking today. As you can see I'm going beyond my normal twenty level limit because this is where the pace of leveling goes by so fat, of where the levels start to go by so fast that, I mean, I know it's slowing, well, right now it's not going really fast, but eventually once I upgrade this guy here, it will start to go so fast that it will be unbelievable, be quick. I might go even beyond 150 if I get lucky. Yeah. I can't really count on that, but hey, we're doing good. I'm exceeding way beyond uh, what well, I was expecting to end off of, which was 100. So I'm not complaining. In fact, I'm happy with that. That we've gotten beyond, well beyond that today. I'm impressed. The DPS is surging like crazy. Thanks to the um, agent I got. Yes, that's where I got. Uh, that's where I spend that hero soul on that one agent. Now the downside to spending hero souls is you lose 10% DPS from that, so watch out for that. You lose 10% of all DPS when you do that. The unfortunate downside to spending hero souls is you lose DPS every time you spend one, so that's that sucks. It's like a big slap in the face. <laughs> yeah, it's like a big slapped ham in the face. This is slapped ham. Hey, want some slapped ham in your face? Well, here you go. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Some actual... It's like... My, my dude, this dude is slapping ham, my guy. Like, it's insane. There is no more new monsters anymore, so you're... I mean... Oh, actually, yeah, there is new monsters after, beyond this point. But... But they have to get really far into the game to show them to you. Because now at this point, only every 100 boss is actually different now. So. The boss from 10 was instead of Scorpion. But now this time it was a big dirge beetle. Bosses are evolving, dude. Dude, these bosses used to be small, now they're like menacingly big. Just like before, it would just j troll me into thinking I'm doing no damage, but you can still see I'm actually doing click damage. 
can see the click damage is still being afflicted. It's just trolling me to think that I'm. It's like basically debating me a purpose to think, purposely debating me to think that I'm not doing any sort of damage. Why? No, I know which. I know what you're saying. You can just level up this hero right now and get the reload ability. I, yeah, I can't do that, but I'm rather not do that because that would waste my money. That would waste the money grind. Um, that would waste my time by too much. I want to get. I want to maximize DPS. That's my main focus. Not getting abilities right away. That would not be the smartest decision for me to do because it's already taken me so long to make one right now from these heroes because. They have so much health right now, it's not fun. Every time you level up this guy, you can see that his DPS is quickly skyrocketing like crazy high each time now. So it's a new one that's DPS is skyrocketing and I'm already getting a little bit near the way to unlocking Frostleaf and I haven't even maxed out Grant yet. I haven't even maxed out the wind one yet, and I'm getting close to look, uh, getting Frostleaf. This is how crazy it's getting right now. Frostleaf is the most powerful hero I can afford right now. He's at still an affordable price, but at, after him, yeah, I can't do it anymore. I can't unlock any more heroes after that. He's the last one I can get for now, so... Yeah, George seemed to be just... Stopping at Frostly for a little while because that's all that I can do. Because <laughs> the next hero is soup is is so expensive that I have to, it will take me a bunch of runs just to unlock him. One hero, by the way. He's one singular hero, and he costs that much. It's ridiculous. His his number value is so large that it's like two billion times more than Frostleaf. Well, who this guy is? He's the uh, he he has this winter weed presence. It's what it says in the description here. Once we level up, once we get a good chunk of levels into you know Mr. Grant here. And now he's doing the most DPS. So it used to be this hero that did the most DPS. Now it's Grit who's doing the most DPS. And he's a strong, he's sure a buff boy. Oh, he's gonna whip everyone to shape, alright? With that belt. He's gonna whip to a, he's gonna whip everyone to shape with a leather belt. Like all them dads do. You know that if if you've seen the leather belt that if, if you see the leather belt that your dad sometimes whips you with, if you didn't do something good. No, I'm talking about like it. No. If you got whipped with a leather belt, if that, has that happened to you? Like, has that situation happened to you? If not, luck, you, you can see yourself lucky. Because if it, cause the feeling of that hitting a tushy is so... Horrible. That it is painful, and it's also, it's not fun. It's painful. It literally hurts. Everybody hurts. Sometimes. Everybody hurts. Sometimes. These are descriptions for this one. It's like a little hilarious. Okay, this one has a funny. This this ability, this upgrade has a funny subscription. That's I can't stop laughing for that. That's just hilarious. One of these is the hero actually says something in this for this upgrade. Oh, so every. One of these abilities, he has quotes to say for all of them. Okay, that's cool. I like that little detail for him. Uh, he's, he says something about each ability. 
each upgrade you get from him. He's all like, he's like a warrior, he's like a gladiator guy, kind of guy, so it's like, it's like he's ready for what fight, seriously. Yes, a treasure chest! Well, it didn't really help me that much. It, well, maybe a little bit, but not, 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 not at all. Yep, I don't even need to use the power-ups. This, this hero is too powerful for this. This hero is so strong that I could just solo this guy without power-ups. I was not joking, by the way. That was no joke. Yeah, just went back to a normal boss. Primal bosses are a one-time thing, by the way. After you defeat them, they go back to normal. This dude doesn't stop leveling up, and I don't have to stop there. See, this one increases DPS by 25%, and we're getting another one at level 50. Getting another circular upgrade at level 50. This one increases his DPS, just his DPS, by 100%. I like the ones that increase all the heroes' DPS. Cause he's just whipping everyone to shape. That's how it is. We're already getting a big roster of heroes, so this is pretty funny because I could get to a pretty good roster of heroes. Like, oh my god! You have to probably get to around like level hundred something to finally unlock Frosty because. Eventually, the amount of money you make will eventually catch up so quick that eventually you're forced to level up either Grant or Frostleaf indefinitely because these zones start to get super hard without doing that. Like, the DPS rate is so slow if you don't do that that it's just not worth it. It's, that's, at that point, they really, they really want you to ascend, like, badly. At that point, the game's like desperate for you to, desperately wanting you to ascend. But you keep telling the game, no. I want to go as far as I want. Uh, okay, well, yeah. I, I want to stop at 130 because this is already getting ridiculously. Uh, I know it could go much faster than. I know I could get through much farther than this, but I think I need to stop soon. Um, I think I have a point business I need to do soon. Sorry, guys. Uh, I have a point business I gotta get done soon, so... I, I hope we can get to 130, because... Oh, yes! We can get him, and here's the next one. Wow, he's made a noticeable difference. Okay. See this guy? This one is Dread Knight. This is the hero I was talking about. Do you see this? This is Undecillion, by the way. That is a large number. That is two billion times bigger than Sextillion. That's the number that Frostleaf is. That's the value of how much how expensive Frostleaf is. See if but look, look now you may think thought you thought Frostleaf was expensive? See that? That is actually expensive. I can't even afford him. Just buying him alone is a hassle. Even trying to hire the man is a hassle, like... I'm not joking, that is freaking expensive. There is no way in hell I can get that guy right now. And also, I'm not showing you his description until I can finally hire him. Well, I can't show you this guy's description. Winter comes and goes with his presence. <laughs> That's what he said. He's... And he's... He has a he says something in his description. It is time for winter to s let's start the season along your side. He says. He supposedly says, yeah. That's hilarious. How he's like wanting to start the That's expensive. So let's just level up Mr. Grant instead. I wanna cut it I wanna cut it short here. I wanna cut it here today because here at like level 130. Because it starts to get 
or at this point once you upgrade, you know, Frost Leaf a gajillion times, he starts to do a lot of damage, really, these monsters start to die at rapid pace, so fast, that I can't even keep up with it, it's that quick, eventually, I'm gonna be able to get the upgrades for Frost Leaf soon, at a certain point, well, I might have to end it here and then get the upgrades for him in my next video because I have to stop here. Because I have important business I need to help out doing so sorry guys if I have to end the video now. I have to because there's important business I need to do soon so just tell you it's important business I gotta get done soon so please tell me I can afford it. Yes! Okay good. I just want this is the last upgrade I can easily get because this upgrade is Oh, that's not that bad, but I want to level up Frost Leaf 25 times in the next video, so. And you can see how expensive it is just to level them up 25 times. That's too much. I can't do that easily right now, so. Yeah. Okay, that is a noticeable difference in DPS. I like that. This only increases his DPS by 100%, unfortunately. It's a mere 100%, that's not that much. It may not look like it's not that much, but it actually is a lot. Considering that what, who this hero is, yeah, he's quite tough. He's a tough cookie, but maybe, maybe not tough enough cookie. Like the cookie monster! Ah! Ah, I was just trying to be funny there, guys. That's all I was doing. Well... Oh, here we go! And I'm gonna activate this one for good measures. This one is a, it's a primal trope. There we go! We did it. I finally made it to my level goal today. Meaning, we basically went through 50 levels. Oh my gosh. Basically, we went through 50 levels today. That's insane. Oh, because that's his. Oh, I got the. for the assassin. Okay. Yeah, that actually looks dope as well. Oh, day. Oh, I got one for Sir George as well. That's cool. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Come on. Let's just stick to the regular enemy. Ooh, treasure chest. Okay, yeah. Anyways, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna end it here. Anyway, I'm gonna end it here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to sincerely, for real, sincerely, positively like, comment, and subscribe. Tap the notification bell. Share this amazingly cool and epic video with others. And I'll see you guys in my next vid. Peace out, my dudes and the dads. And also, I have important business I need to do soon. So, bye, guys.